What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning. So come by and say hello. All right, guys. I wanted to uh, just do a quick, hopefully short video here as a PSA to make you aware or to remind you that this upcoming Tuesday, March 7th, is when the new market listing fee is going to go into effect. So a couple things. Uh, if you're using one of the kind of auto rental services like uh, Splex.gg, I believe there's another one called Splinter Rents, when I'm, which I'm not sure if they're they're going to continue or not. But either way, and, and this is I'm not trying to throw any shade at Splex.gg, but I'm just saying if you're using it and I use it, um, I, I have I was going through the Discord and I don't think I've read anything on what the, the game plan is for right now, although I'm sure we may get some update on that in the near future. Uh, but I would, you know, for me personally, I'm probably just going to turn off the auto renting feature for right now until I can sort things through. And then if you're not dealing with an auto renter, um, I would say probably something that is worthwhile to look at is pricing your cards, you know, between now and the early mornings before maintenance on March 7th. And the reason for that is whether you put it as a season rental, whether you put it as a daily rental, what you want to do is make sure that you get in a, um, get in a listing before you have to pay the fee hopefully at a price that you're willing to accept and that will be taken, uh, you know, what that, that will be uh, utilized, right? Or uh, will be so that your car won't be vacant and just sitting on the shelf for the entire time. So, you know, part of me has been exploring more of the seasonal rentals and that's kind of my, that's kind of my project or, you know, on, on my list of things to do between now and tomorrow. But obviously it does take sometimes, you know, two days or, you know, 48 hours to, uh, to get your cards back or off the market, right? So maybe they're renting for something super cheap at the beginning of the season and now would be the time that you want to set it at like whatever the average price is or you want to put it for season and then just leave it until you may need to focus and reprice at some point in the future when it would be worthwhile to do so. So I apologize. I actually wanted to get this video out yesterday and it just completely slipped my mind. That would have given you more than 48 hours, but I am I'm recording this on the kind of afternoon of Sunday the 5th. So, you know, a couple days before, but not quite 48 hours. So hopefully I'll get this up right away. You'll see it at a decent time and uh, start making the moves that you need to move if you have not made them already for your cards. And so, you know, I'm looking forward to this. I want to see more DEC get burned. Uh, I would love to be tracking it. I, I think it's going to be a good thing overall for the ecosystem, for the team and a lot of their server costs. Uh, but it is something that we as a community will need to adjust to. And uh, I don't even know. It's like we as a community, we like anybody who's just participating in the market will have to adjust to. And I think over time, hopefully it'll be a net positive by increasing rents and, uh, and forcing people to combine cards. But, uh, yeah, that's all I really have for you guys. Let me know if you have any questions, any thoughts, concerns, whatever the case might be. I will catch you all in the next video and see you around the game. Take care.